everyone. Welcome to Speaking American English, lesson nine. We are on week nine. So let's get started. Lesson nine is about family, houses, and apartments. Okay, let's learn some vocabulary. Family, family. Okay, we are going to learn family relationships, relationships. Okay, here we have the Martinez family. Andrew, Antonio, Maria, and Bella. Okay, this is the Martinez family. First, let's take a look at Antonio and Maria, okay? Um, Antonio is the father, father. Maria is the mother, mother, okay? Father and mother is parents, parents, okay? One more time, father, mother, parents. Okay, here we have Andrew and Bella. Okay, children, children. One child, singular, one child, two children. This is the plural, children. No S, okay? Okay, so uh, Andrew um, is a boy, menino, boy, okay? So he is their son, son. Bella is a girl, menina, girl. So, she is their daughter, daughter. Good, one more time, let's do the pronunciation. Child, children, son, daughter, boy, girl. Great job. Okay, let's take a look at these sentences. Antonio and Maria have two children. Notice we are using the verb have to talk about family. We will look at this more later. Okay, repeat after me. Antonio and Maria have two children. Their names are Andrew and Bella. They have a son and a daughter. Good job. Okay, now the relationship between Andrew and Bella. Okay, so we know Andrew is a boy. He is Bella's brother. Brother. A boy would be a brother. And Bella is a girl. So Bella is Andrew's sister. Sister. Brother and sister is the same as sibling. Sibling. So for example, Andrew has one sibling. Her name is Bella. Bella has one sibling. His name is Andrew, okay? Sibling is the same as brothers and sisters, okay? Let's take a look at these sentences. Andrew has a sister. Her name is Bella. Bella has a brother. His name is Andrew.
I have five siblings is the same as saying, I have five brothers and sisters. Good? Okay. Okay, marital status. Okay, marital status. To be married, we use the verb to be casado, okay? To be single, not married, is single, all right? So here we have Antonio and Maria again. So let's take a look at these sentences. Antonio is married. Maria is his wife wife okay so maria is a woman she is the wife antonio is the man he is the husband okay let's take a look at the next sentence maria is married antonio is her husband good they are married good okay and again, when someone is not married, they are single. Okay, let's take a look at the conjugation for the verb have in the simple present. I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, they have. Good. Notice for he, she, it, in the simple present, the verb gets an S. So instead of have, it's has. He has, she has, it has. But I have, you have, we have, they have. Okay? Okay, so talking about your family, here's a little review. You can repeat after me. I have a husband. His name is Matthew. I have three sisters. Their names are Maria, Jane, and Patricia. I have five siblings, three sisters and two brothers. My sister has two daughters. We have two dogs. Now we're going to move on to houses and apartments and learning all of the vocabulary about houses and apartments. So first we use the verb live to talk about where we live, okay? <laughs> so for example, do you live in a house or an apartment? I live in a house. What about you? Do you live in a house or an apartment? I live. Let's take a look at the conjugation for the verb live in the simple present. Repeat after me. I live, you live, he lives, she lives, it lives, we live, they live. And again, he, she, it, the verb gets an S. He lives, she lives, it lives. Now we're going to learn the rooms, quartos, or parts, parches, of a house or an apartment, okay? So here is a house. This right here in the front, this is the yard, yard. And here we have the driveway, driveway. This is the 
living room, living room. We are going to come back and learn the other parts of the living room later. For right now, we're just doing the rooms and this is the living room. Kitchen, kitchen. Dining room, dining room. Bathroom, bathroom. Bedroom, bedroom. Laundry room, laundry room. Basement, basement. Attic, attic. Balcony, balcony. Patio, patio. Porch, porch. Elevator, elevator, stairs, stairs, upstairs, downstairs. So to talk about the rooms in your house, normally we would use the verb have. So for example, I live in a house, I have three bedrooms, I have one bathroom, I have a porch and a, a yard, okay? So talking about the rooms or the parts of your house, you can use the verb have. Now, let's go back and learn the vocabulary for things, inside the home, cosas dentro da casa, okay? Here in the living room, curtains, coffee table, rug, sofa, again, curtains, coffee table, rug, sofa. In the kitchen, microwave, refrigerator, refrigerator, or fridge, <laughs> fridge. Cabinets, stove, Oven. The whole thing is a stove. Okay. Dishwasher. Counter. Island. Great. One more time. Refrigerator. Microwave. Cabinets. Stove. Dishwasher. Island. Counter. Great job. In the dining room, painting, dining room table, dining room chairs, window, and here you can see curtains, possibly a rug for some people. Okay, great. One more time. Painting, windows, dining room table, dining room chairs. Bathroom, in the bathroom, there is a shower, tub, toilet, sink. Again, shower, tub, toilet, sink. 
in the bedroom, there is a dresser, mirror, bed, blanket, sheet, pillow, nightstand. Great, and here is a rug, okay? Again, one more time, we have mirror, dresser, bed, sheet, blanket, pillow, nightstand. Excellent. In the laundry room, there is a washer and a dryer. Washer and dryer. Cuando falamos sobre cosas dentro do cuarto. For example, let's take a look at the bedroom. So I would say in the bedroom, there is a bed, there is a dresser, there are blankets, there are pillows, okay? To describe the things in the room, use there is or there are, not have, there is, there are. So to talk about the things that exist in a place or room in your home, use there is or there are. Para falar sobre coisas que existe, existe en un lugar o cuarto na sua casa, usa there is or there are. There is is for singular and there are is for plural. So for example, there is a dishwasher in my kitchen. So here we have dishwasher. Dishwasher is singular. So we use there is. Next, there are pictures on the wall in my office. Pictures is plural. So we use there are. There is a dresser and a bed in my bedroom. Great. So here we are talking about two things, but there is only one dresser and there is only one bed. So we still use there is. There is a dresser and a bed in my bedroom. Next. There are dining room chairs in my living room. There is a dining room table and a vase with flowers on the table. Good job. In my living room, there is a piano. Great job, very, very, very good. To talk about your home, here are some examples. You could use the verb live to say, I live in a house or I live in an apartment. And then describe your house. My house has three bedrooms, one bathroom, a living room, dining room, kitchen, a porch and a yard. Okay, these are the parts of the house or the rooms and we're using the verb have or has, okay? Now to describe the things inside a particular room. So here in my living room, we use there is or there are. In my living room, there is a TV and a TV stand. There is a coffee table. There are two sofas. There is a piano and there are curtains on the windows. Good? Okay. Here are some common questions that people may ask about your home. Do you live in a house or an apartment? Where do you live? Do you have a yard? 
Do you have a porch? Do you have a laundry room? And you could respond, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Is there a TV in your living room? Yes, there is a TV in my living room. Or no, there isn't. Okay, so you could respond, yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Are there pictures on the wall in your living room? Yes, there are, or no, there aren't. Again, yes, there are, or no, there aren't. Okay, everybody, that's all for lesson nine. That was all about your family and talking about your home. So I hope you guys learned a lot of vocabulary. Make sure you decorar, memorizar the vocabulary. Make sure you memorize the words and um, practice saying the sentences using the verbs live and have, as well as using there is and there are, okay? So don't forget to do your homework, Jiver de Casa. Thank you so much for joining me for lesson nine and I will see you next time for lesson 10. Bye-bye.